Hello comrade and welcome to a special episode, so let's dive right into it. Greetings. I'm recording a series with my friend Astral Silva in German and um, I put up build episodes of this one here on my channel and um, give you updates on how it goes and what we do. <laughs> if you want to see the whole series you need to uh, take a look at his channel, I will link to him. Yeah, but um, maybe you can follow along. Um, I try my best to give you updates on the series but it will be not a completely playthrough where you can uh, see everything what happens but uh, the highlights maybe will come to you. So what's all about this? Um, this is the Island Republic. It's also called Mountain Island Republic. Um, it's a great map. We picked and choose some of the maps. It's a very hard map. And um, we play on realistic mode on a complete island map. So you see here there are no border posts and uh, we will not have any border posts. Um, the resources are sparse and are up the hill. So uh, this is a big hill with many plateaus and slopes where you need to go up. And uh, coal is here up the hill, iron is here. Uh, the other resources are, uh, as you can see, so um, oil is a little bit easier to reach. Then we have uranium and bauxite, and uh, that's all of them. And um, oh, the rule of this game is, or this playthrough is, we will not export anything. Um, we are on hardest settings except of the money situation, so we will start with a lot of money. But uh, as we are not allowed to export anything, we only can earn money through tourism. And uh, this is the goal of the game. We will play it touristy. <laughs> um, and because we have no border posts, we have created a starting city. Mainly Astral Silver has created it um, in a tropical style with a um, population of 800 people possibly. Uh, right now it's unpopulated. And uh, we also have our favelas, so we really don't make it easy for us. These houses have a living quality of 40% and we are on hard citizen reaction, so this will be fun. And um, this is only for the basic start. And the other thing I've created here is a little teeny tiny building industry uh, where we can make our own asphalt and uh, concrete and get our gravel started. This is a bucket dredger. It pulls out gravel directly from the sea. So this is the main island where we will progress later on. And these are the bespoken slopes and plateaus where we can go up and up and up and um, in the end you are at a big uh, mountainside plateau uh, where you are can build uh, buildings <laughs> right into the clouds that should be fun yeah so today we are here to um, kick off a little bit the series um, the modder did a great job with the map and uh, we um, contrary to my other series, this will be heavily modded and take advantage of modding. So um, it's possible because I have no custom access. So I have no foreign worker access through customs as a, on an easy way. You can pull them out by ship or by helicopter. But helicopter is highly unrealistic for this time frame and for the settings. So we will um, take advantage of ships, many ships. And today we will build the infrastructure to make the ship thing working. And one of the cornerstones here is the Pioneer Pack from Ryan the Skinny. Thank you also for this one. This one makes it possible to play realistic mode on an island because uh, there are some for free buildings. Others cost stuff, but they are very cheap. Um, and we can progress and start. So, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Um, the hotbar is broken for me. Don't know why, but it is. So, this is a free harbor. And we will place uh, them. We have uh, four of them 
which we can place. You see here. Um, let me just place them. Here. This is preparation for um, the colonization of the island, so we can uh, create a population here, and um, we need this as the basics. So we connect this one here. Like so, yes. And hmm, let me just ah, <laughs> let me just remove it. What I have built. Okay. So um, maybe first. <laughs> the question is, what does the harbor do? Um, I have different harbors with different things they should do. And um, this is a really basic setup and I will move it as soon as we can uh, because um, we ne need better harbors and better storages. These, like I said, very basic. So... Right, this and this and this one. Yes. And now. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, ships can dock here. There's a refueling possibility. Uh, it does not need power. But uh, there's no factory connection and there's no internal storage. Like on normal ships, uh, ports, but we need to take care of internal storage. So let's do this by first construction materials which are um, SOR free no I usually don't like these uh, storages oh, let's let's go here um, usually don't like the storages because they are slow and only one vehicle can stop there but now we have no other choice than to build them hmm Maybe one road is in the way. Let's get rid of you. Oh, what? Ah, uh, pick the right tool. Get rid of you. Okay. And um, you can leave me a comment if you want to, um, how you like the series, if you want to have more updates or if you are really disturbed by the German co-production. <laughs> can be. Um, and I will take it into consideration or proceed with this one. Um, I thought um, it would be fun to put out the content just to keep you involved because it's an interesting project. Um, so I haven't seen anybody publish such a thing on YouTube. I think some people did it in their uh, free time so to speak so um, playing it for themselves try to start a island republic but it's really not that easy so we put a lot of thought into it how to do it the best way and um, how to succeed and we are not sure if we succeed especially with the rule we cannot export anything but i have some mods in mind and there are really powerful mods which we can take advantage of and we will um, for example, this, this warehouse is, pff, is it powerful? I don't know. Because um, it has a small storage and it needs to be built, so it's not for free. Um, it even wants to have power? What? Okay. Um, yeah. But it only needs gravel and boards to be constructed, so we like it. Um, up for enough. So I want to have one for food, one two for clothes and um, electronics. Yeah, I think for I enough. So one for construction material and stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we can. So <laughs> let's get rid of the road again. Build it like here. Okay. And build this road like this and this road like that. Okay. And this one will not go. set okay luckily this whole setup is quite temporary but it's needed anyway because we need to take care of us as good as possible of a stable um sorry 
of a stable access of uh, food, for example. And if you order something by ship, uh, you wait half a month. So these things are necessary. Mm. Now we need maybe some distribution offices. Uh, like a like normal start of realistic mode for free. So let's create one here and here and mm, 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 don't know. Maybe one in between. Like here. Okay. Good. So these are connected. This is connected. Yes. Good. So this is the basic setup and I'm not allowed to build more of these. So these are all the free harbors I can get. Mm. And we play, we started to construct the city, but now we play on realistic mode and we stay on realistic mode. There's one little exception to the rule and this is um, when we want to decorate. Uh, Astral Silver is a really good taste of decorating the city if you look at uh, this one. Um, he is uh, in the ministry for uh, people and uh, <laughs> tourism. So tourism is the only mean we make money. And uh, he also um, does a great job to make the city come to life. So detailing it, um, having somewhere to sit and eat a little ice or Cuba Libre. Yeah. So... Um, I take care of the business uh, side, so internal, <laughs> so we don't run out of food and he makes the food taste good. <laughs> that's how we split the roles and that's how we want to do it. And um, our normal episodes, we uh, do them together and have commentary together. So let's go to our silly thingy here. Um, what do we have here? This should be a passenger harbor where we will import some foreign workers. Get you. Mm. Is it? Ah, no. It's okay. It's the wrong thingy. So this one is the dock where I can pull out some ships. Do you fit in here? No, you won't. So let's dock you in here. And in... No? Are we already full? We are full of docks. Oh, <laughs> Oh, nice of you, Ryan. Um, hmm. So this one I don't want to have here. Thank you. And I also have marked on my invisible toolbar um, a passenger dock, hopefully. A pioneer dock? No. It's a little bit harder to see what it is if there's no picture. Still pioneer dog. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> let's do it the proper way. So we have this one and we have this one. Yes, this is a landing dock for our passengers. Mm. This is only to get some passengers in to kickstart off the whole shebang. Yeah, so. Um, I need to have some gravel to um, create some fresh water, drinking water. Can show you the power situation in a moment. So you go maybe like, yeah. Let us take a look. What can you reach? Okay. Can reach the bucket dredger which is one of the more important things. And maybe you can reach the power station here. Yeah, also important. Okay. So we will say, um, 
you go in here and here to get this thing rolling. We can also assign you to these ones, but uh, first we need to really kick off the ball, so to speak. Um, and another dock to get some ships. Okay. So the ships are our lifeline to the outside world. And um, we have four ports, which have two stations for ships. The first one will be for oil, also for fuel and bitumen. The next one will be for construction materials. And the last two will be for uh, uh, materials. Uh, one is for the people materials like food and clothes and all this stuff. And the other one is a mixed one. So yeah, let's buy some ships. Let's start with the passenger ship so we can um, kickstart off our whole endeavor. It will be the Yulia, I think. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yulia, it shall be. Let me just check it. Okay. Good. And the other very important thing is uh, oil tanker. Um, ah, the oil tankers we will get from the west. <laughs> oh, let me see here. Um, because the vanilla ones don't have really big choices, so we need to make something work here. So this one is a teensy tiny oil tanker. Maybe this one or... Hmm. Ah, no, we will take this one. This is a really small one. Oh, cannot. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I was really on the wrong. Uh, sorry, I was thinking of something else. Um, <laughs> I haven't looked at. So this one is a teensy tiny. Looks like the other one, but it's really tiny. And. <laughs> The other one we want to have is a really nice one. Where are you hiding? So... It's... Um... No, no, no. Yeah. It's this one here. Yes. Okay. Good. So I hope I've got them right because um, choices are different sometimes. Let us see what we have bought here. So come on, show yourself. Oh, stuck at the border. Where are you? Hello. Somewhere on the horizon, there's something coming. Yes, <laughs> there are the tools. So, yeah, this is the one I wanted to have. Um, it's a really nice tanker. Um, well, you can see his purpose. It's for fuel. And the teensy tiny one is for bitumen. So uh, we can give him uh, something to do, which is go here and uh, load me some fuel, please. And then go to our little island. Oh, not this one, this is the main island. Okay, here you are. And you can go here and here and here and here and also at the passenger dock and then go here and unload so let's put him on the road so you unload fuel here and you 
unload fuel here and you unload here and here and there. Uh, aren't you? Okay. I thought I have set you know, full. Okay. Go back. Good. And I want him to go back to the dock. Yes. Last stop. So we can reassign the road. This is only to get the dock started. And we have our first passenger ship. Well, we changed the skin. This one is good. Yeah. So this one will take uh, give us some uh, foreign workers to kickstart the production of gravel, and the gravel can kickstart the production of fuels. Uh, fuels, water, and water is good for surviving. <laughs> yes. Okay. So you go here and. Stop. You load bitumen and then you go here and unload and wait until unloaded and some trucks will take care of you. Okay. Good. Next. So I can send him uh, here to this dock just to keep things tidy. Okay. Let's go on pause. We don't waste, want to waste too much time here. And we need some cargo ships. So what cargo ships do we want? Uh, modded ones and small ones. This is nice, but uh, this will come later. Um, I want to have... This one not... Yeah, uh, two of these. Um, these are really important. One is for people goods and one is for construction goods. One, two. No, only one. And a second one, please. Ah, it's still blocked. So, you. You are for construction, so you go here. And let's let's assign you. Only this. Okay. And um, one, two of this. And one, two of this. And the boards. One, two. So we are at 60%. And mm, mm, mm. bricks, yeah, bricks here. One, two, okay. Mm. Hopefully, our fuel ship is fa fast enough. Oh, we will get other problems. Um, okay, so we have 80%, and we have 20% for something else. What is most important, I think. We need a lot of bricks. 120. Prefabs we don't need so much of. Bots. We have a lot of bricks. Mm. <laughs> Hard to say. Let's make it more bricks. We will. Uh, we try to build most of the stuff out of bricks for the start. Um, the uh, aim is self-sufficiency, and um, but we need to start this whole thing. And this is really, like I said, not so easy. Okay, you go here. You don't go to the border. So at the border, you load everything. Yes. And here you unload everything and you wait to get unloaded. Okay. So we can 
set you up. <laughs> so we need people goods. Um, again. Nothing of nothing. Uh, okay. Can we set... Okay, uh, let's set everything to food. This would be a good idea. Where is the food? Food, food, food. Food, food. Food, food. okay. So food, and then one, two, three, four. Yes. And um, one, two. Mm. Or even one. 17 tons, yeah. One, two. Or one, two. And food. One less. And then I want alcohol. Yes. Um, alcohol one load. Okay. Good. And we will assign you. So you go to the border. And then... You go to this one. And at the border you load everything and here you unload and wait for unloading. Yes. Okay. And start please. Where are you? Okay, you are docking. That's fine. It's also a very nice ship, uh, so we try to pick and choose ships which are a um, little bit more high seas worthy. Oh my god, crash. Okay, and back we are. I don't think I have lost too much progress, so... Okay, this one is configured. 17, 50... Um, Let's do it again because I am not sure if what I did. So one, two, three. Let's make it like this. And make this one one. And this one one and the alcohol one. Should be okay. Uh, we start with a population of eight hundred people and um yeah. So you will dock and we will wait until you are docked so it will not happen the second time. Mm, some additional ships. So we need... Okay, I have one free. We need a ship to get us some vehicles on our little island, which is also a problem. Um, let's sort by value. Okay. And to have a ship which transports vehicles, you need somebody who transports containers and which looks like an open hall. <laughs> like this one here. Yep. Yeah. And we will get it. Okay. Good. This is our uh, transporter for vehicles. It can pull out around 20 vehicles from the border. Mm. Which will be a big fun. Okay. You go out. You cannot go. At least two stops. What? Okay. Good. So we've configured you, yes, hopefully you're right. Oh, we also need meat. Don't forget the meat, Dennis. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So you go here. And then you go on to this dog. You load here and you unload here and wait. Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> Next. Um, meat. <laughs> Let's get another ship. 
which is not uh, our favorite one because it's a little bit on the mm, the model I I find it okay. Uh, my friend Asta Silva has something else to say about it, but yeah, we will get it. Um, the Bacchus is a, a fine one, just really a beautiful one. And um, have I ordered it? Okay. And there is, because I don't want to forget it, I will buy the Bacchus in a moment. But there is a ship which is the old merchant, I think. Where was it? So many choices. Or was it you? <laughs> Bacchus, 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 Bacchus. SRT. Did we take a look at this one? No, this is a... Okay, river. No. No? Hmm. Water barge, no? No. Interesting. Where are you hiding? I don't know. Maybe my friend is in the luck and I cannot get it. Oh, you bugger. Yeah. Hmm. Was it on the west side? Let's check it out. Cargo ship? Sort by value? Sort by value. Draw. Draw. Aggregate. This one is sweet. We will get you. The puffer one. Tanker. Mm. Oh, the mod is gone. Can I really? Good. Maybe I have to take a look for him. Let's get a puffer. Um, I cannot get a puffer because this one is still reserved. Go out. Okay. Puffer it is. Puffer it is, please. Okay. Brilliant GUI. Um, the puffer. You. Mm -mm. I want to have meat from you. Yes, only this stuff. Okay. Good. And you go to the border and you go <laughs> where will where do you want to go today? Yeah. Okay. And you load meat. And you unload and you wait for unloading. Thank you. Okay. So now I'm on a scouting trip to find my old merchant. This one is okay. It would be interesting of uh, where is our fuel tanker. Let's take a look. Fuel tanker. Okay, he's fully loaded and uh, on his way to do his job. That's good. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So I need one last ship for electronic components and mechanical components. Hopefully. Cargo ships value. So, no, we want cheap stuff. Where is the one I had in mind? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it exited. 
So we will get the Barkas. Really nice model. Okay. The Barkas ship. Thank you, autosave. You never know when the game crashes. So uh, this one is for vehicles and the Barkas is for in advanced setup. And yes, you take this stuff and one, two, three, four, five. And then the other components, these. One, two, three, four, five. Huh, really tiny. Yeah, and you wait for a lot. And unload and wait. Good. So I think that's all. That's the whole um, ship setup. And we will see if we uh, we don't have something which we really need, which is quite a possibility that we can get it. What are you? Okay. You are filling up the uh, ports. Which is really nice because um, ships cannot unload if they are not filled up. And you? Hmm. First one on deck. Okay. Good. And this is how we get our construction materials to this little setup here. And why I said I need gravel is um, this bucket dredger needs fuel and produces gravel. And then we can pull out gravel to uh, feed our water treatment plan which is this one here and uh, this will fill up the water um, system we have a little town system and uh, we will feed this uh, little water tower i usually don't use water towers because i either have enough water or i don't but uh, in this special circumstance we have a very dodgy power supply so we only have one pump and this is fueled by this these uh, windmills and we also have um, a supporting power plant which is this one here <laughs> um, so we either have power or we don't and nobody knows it really but um, the setup is to uh, keep let us suffer a little bit and uh, to expand it's simply a static setup it's not comfortable it's like the the little favelas here these are 40 percent living quality like i said and it's only to get us out of the ground and to expand and create our industries and um, let us get self-sufficient from the problems we have now hey okay, here comes the next one ah he's refueling so these are construction materials okay Good. This one is for uh, the vehicles. And okay. So this one is full. And this one has one place. Okay. Okay. So I think with this, um, we can close the episode. Then on the next episode with Astra Silver, we will populate the town. Oh, maybe. Mm. Not quite yet. So let me just make some more things. Let me just finish some more things. So we have the construction industry, which is really important. And to you, <laughs> like it is a tradition in realistic mode, uh, we get the free ones. Just to uh, make it easier to populate it on the next episode. But the construction industry will be, um, yeah. six of them then um, we need some depots to let them to unload from the ships that's fine we can use some fuel stations Let's 
create one like here. Okay. And one in the city. Mm, where are you not in the way but also good good reach? Maybe like here. No. No, no, no. If I build it here, as I built it in a central place. Um yeah. Uh maybe um, for the moment let's build it here in the end of the favela situation. Okay, good. Yeah. Can I create something more? I don't think so. So now I can close it. <laughs> so comrade, um, I will go on with my not usual series uh, called for one ruble, but uh, you will get some updates uh, here and there how this one develops. I will provide you to the changes and um, yeah, uh, it will be interesting to start a realistic mode on totally different rules again and on quite hard settings. So have a good one. See you. Bye.